All right, guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Another quick tutorial from me today. Surprise, surprise. But this is the Chaos Texture node, and it doesn't really need much explanation, if I'm being honest. It's very good for doing randomization of a texture input. In our case, we're using an RGB image, and it basically puts it all over, and it randomizes it, and it lays it on top, and it, it creates chaos. A bit like my life. <laughs> so as you can see, we have the Chaos Texture node. Now, this is really good if you're doing something like ground and you want to have variation in the ground in terms of colour or something like this. Or maybe you want to use something like a scratch map and you can put scratches on metal. So there is loads of use cases for it. So as you can see, I have an RGB image. It goes into the texture. We can play around with the resolution. Generally, I set that to the same resolution as the image. Uh, you have tile scale. So when we scale things up and down. Pretty cool. Uh, you have the coverage. So... It kind of works backwards a little bit, so higher seems to be less for some reason. And you have an, a blending option, so let's say for example they're sitting on top of each other. You can put the blending up, uh, let me put the coverage and the tile scale up. So they'll start to kind of blend into each other, so this is very good as well. Uh, what I've done here is I've added a UV transform node, and I can play around with the scale, so I can scale this up and down. So you can start to see the use cases here for it. Uh, but what I've also done on the RGB image is I've added a UV transformation. Now you can use projection and stuff like this because it's just an image. Uh, but obviously I can play around with the scale here as well. And we can have loads of little faces. You can also enable rotation. So in, rotation is kind of random. Uh, so you have a, like a random seed here. So if you take it off, everything will actually be perfect. This would be good for doing like shingles on a roof or something like that. Ah, anyway, so that is pretty much the Chaos Texture node. Now keep in mind, you can add it to a mixed material, you can add it to a layer or whatever, and you can start to build this up. So that pretty much is the Chaos Texture node. Anyway, you know what to do. Take care.